So I think when I came in here, I felt like I was in a really secret place. I've lived in Salisbury for 16 years and I didn't know it existed. Yeah, I didn't know what to think, because you go up and up and up and up and up and you think, oh, this is really, 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 really long walk all the way up. Um, and you open the door and you're greeted with all this light out of nowhere. So obviously the stairs have no light at all, they're completely black. And then, like, dark completely, and you walk in and it's all of this light from all the windows. So it was like, it was really nice because it was different to the rest of the cathedral. My initial thought when I first entered the archive is I was expecting it to be more like the books to be old and everything and I was quite surprised to see it was all in boxes. The archive was way tidier than I thought it would be. It was really organised. I was expecting all these dusty boxes and it was all really well kept but um, I still found it really interesting about the temperature and how they kept everything. I found the library incredibly interesting. Um, I mean I loved um, just all the old books and the fact that, you know, the chained library and I found just there were so many different points of inspiration around the library, which I thought was incredible. When Emily was showing us the archives, it was interesting. We were seeing all these beautiful manuscripts that we could handle, but I don't speak Latin, so it was kind of inaccessible. So there's constant feeling of, of things hidden, things um, kind of not fully revealing themselves, secrets. So I wanted to bring together both the books and the scripture that was in the library, as well as the people that run the library. Um, there's a gentleman in the library, I forget his name, but he was really um, interesting to talk to. So I wanted to bring both of the traditional style of teaching, is in the books and the literature, um, and the more current method is, you know, word of mouth. So I ended up making a tapestry wall hanging, um, which I screen printed the calligraphy onto the screen and then printed it onto the fabric and I weaved parts into the fabric to create like build up layers to kind of portray like secrecy and delicacy throughout the project. When we went to the archive and I was thinking about like they kept everything, they've got receipts and bills and everything from hundreds and hundreds of years ago and I was thinking more about now and how technology has really affected the way people archive things. There's all these objects people have in their house, like phones and computers, that have all this information on that's just going to be lost forever because no one ever moves data over anymore. So it's sort of all these are things that used to be kept and now just getting lost. And so that was sort of my idea of sort of that shoebox is a 21st century archive. So these are the things that mainly fascinated me when we went. The chains, the staircase when we're going up, the seals, and then I decided to tear them up and just put them all together. This is a prototype, so I think it's going to be up this way up. So they're just little boxes, but I want people to have the idea that they can take these boxes down, open them up, and there's something else about this character inside. Before you work with um, artists coming into the course, you sort of not sure, because you always think, oh, they're a big artist, they're going to be so much bigger than you, but when actually Henny brought it down to the same level of working, so you yourself was an artist, and are an artist, working alongside another artist. Henny was really great to work with. Um, she was so supportive all the way through and constantly coming in and asking us how we're doing, and um, was just a really great person to bounce ideas off, like when we were discussing things in class, it was really good to have her. You know, if you were a photographer, you'd be going, oh, no, that's not right. But we thought it's quite nice because it's got that aged look to it, which is fine for that project that we're doing. So actually, this was really lovely. Well, we were encouraged to kind of work in a specialism that wasn't our own, just to try and try something different. It was quite nice doing something that was actually an object. Normally, like, we kind of do our own kind of projects. So this was like more of a set project which I enjoyed because it gave me like a direction of where to go and um, then I could just pick out the part from the library that I was most attracted to. There's definitely a different style of working that you have to approach when you're being commissioned with things. Um, so you have a layout of gu guidelines um, and in those you have to, usually you have to stick to certain things. So for us it was the 40 by 40 centimetres. Um, but it was really positive because you could, you know, do pretty much anything you wanted, so that was really good, yeah. And it just occurred to us as we were talking that we could take the books off these shelves here and use the shelves. There's no reason we could temporarily move these books. I suppose the way I work is I work always with 
a particular place in mind where I'm going to exhibit. So I think I asked Emily where, before we even came here, where were we going to exhibit? And she said the library. So the moment I came in here, I thought, oh yes, this is, this is a challenge. And I think the students would agree with that because how is our work going to sit in here with so much fantastic competition? But having now discussed with Emily that, that this bookcase can be cleared, we've now got the possibility of our work being exhibited here and then having a conversation with the beautiful old shelves and books on the other wall. So I can see that working really, really well. It was a lot more sort of focused. I mean, you had to do something about archives, about the library, about the cathedral. So at first I found that really difficult because I'm used to being able to pick whatever topic I wanted to do. So I found that really tricky in the first few weeks of just like, oh my goodness, what do I do? But then after sort of thinking more through my tutors and discussing it, I actually found I really enjoyed the sort of almost the challenge of having to do something within such a small box, which is really, really enjoyed, yeah. I think everyone's really excited about it and sort of like first little proper exhibition everyone's yeah really looking forward to it. It's a really great thing to do and yeah great thing to be a part of.